Today we're going to be creating a photo frame using the Xyron Creatopia refills, cuts, and patterns components. I've already cut a bunch of strips, but I wanted to show you real quickly how to do that so that we can get started making our frame. I've already got the border patterns in the Creatopia. I'm just going to take a piece of paper, set it up against the edge of my mat, and crank the handle, and that's going to give me a beautiful dots embossed pattern right on my paper. Now I'm going to take the same piece of paper, I'm going to switch out my component, and I'm going to put in the cuts component, slide that right into place. I've also already got my blade exactly where I want it. I'm going to take my stabilizing bar, crank the handle. I've got a nice wide border that's ready to go on our frame. But before we do that, let me show you a real neat trick using the coordinations paper, which is what we've got. I'm just going to sand over the pattern, and it gives me a beautiful, in this case, pink pattern underneath. And this is such an easy thing to do, but really makes your pattern stand out. And it's going to be perfect for this project. And now we're ready to adhere our strips. But we're going to do it in a really interesting way. I'm actually going to take out the cut component and replace it with our refills component and put the permanent adhesive into the machine. But the neat thing is that instead of putting the strips through, we're actually going to put our base sheet of paper through first. And I'm going to show you a really neat trick. So I've got my base sheet of cardstock. And I've also got my picture that's going to be the center of my frame already matted and uh, cut around the borders. So I'm actually going to put both of those through the Creatopia at the same time. Now I'm going to take the top off of my paper. So now I'm going to peel my base paper off of the mat and take, I'm going to take this piece of paper to sit on top. I'm actually going to flip this upside down and now I'm able to lay my strips right on top of the paper exactly where I want them. And it's going to leave me some extra room for a fun little trick at the end. Now that I've got my final strip down, I've still got this adhesive left in between each of the strips, so I'm actually going to take some pink glitter and just sprinkle it along each line, and it's going to give me a really fun decorative edge to my project. And then I'm just going to take my finger and kind of run it along the ridges in between each strip. And the adhesive that was left over from running the paper upside down is actually going to catch all of that glitter. Once I've got that done, I'm just going to shake this off. And now I'm also ready to put on my photo, which is going to be the center of my frame. Good peel. Stick that right in the center. Give it another good little tap to get up all the extra glitter. And now it's ready for the frame. This is the perfect project for Mother's Day, a new baby, or any special photo you want to hold dear. For more great project ideas or information about our Xyron products, come check us out at Xyron.com.